What is up you guys? I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Um, I recently had a clog in my sink and uh, I'm using drain cleaner and yeah you know the brand but I'm not gonna say it because I'm not advertising for them. Um, it's in there working right now. Well hopefully it's working. I'm gonna find out here in about 15 minutes how well it works. But um, I decided while I'm doing that I might as well go ahead and test the effectiveness of this drain cleaner and uh, basically what they use is a, a really really strong base and uh, what that does is it dissolves hair, skin cells, basically any skin and turns it into what's basically soap or uh, lye and um, I'm gonna test it out. I've got some some donated hair here from my girlfriend's hairbrush and uh, what I'm gonna do is just drop it in this clear glass here, pour in the drain cleaner, make sure it totally submerges the hair clog, and uh, let's make sure you guys have a good, good view of it. Okay, looks good. And then uh, I'm going to pause the video here, and uh, when, you, when it comes back, it'll just be a time lapse hopefully and we'll see the effects. I'm going to add a little more drain cleaner here so there's not any sort of gap between the, the hair and the top. There we go. So now the hair is at the very bottom. If there's any bubbling or anything to be done you'll be able to see it. So bear with me. I'll start the time lapse video now. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, probably a little longer. That's, I think that's how long it says to leave it on there. Um, let's see, the instructions specifically say pour a fifth of the bottle into a drain, um, allow it to work, yeah, 15 minutes or 30 for tough clogs, flush with hot water. Um, so as you can see, I mean, that the hair is completely gone. Uh, at first, it just started foaming and fizzing and uh, then as it did that, I guess the bubbles probably made it rise to the top, but you can see this is all that's left is this kind of goo um, at the top, and that's that's what the hair turns into. And um, I guess all that it is is the uh, the pH of the drain or the drain cleaner is significantly higher than the pH of the compounds in the hair. I'm not sure if hair is actually acidic or or basic or what, but it doesn't matter if there's that different of a pH. Um, it just destroys it. You can see I'm using metal here, but uh, I think it actually destroys some some kinds of metal as well. I don't know if it destroys this. It doesn't matter. This is just a scrap Allen wrench that I have from a 
a project. But uh, yeah, you can see that hair is just completely gone. There's none of it left. So um, that's, that is it, I guess, this drain cleaner really probably does work. Um, if you had a really, really bad hair clog or something like that, I'd say leaving it longer can only help because when it's, when it's in the pipe, it has to dissolve the hair, move on to the next clump, dissolve more hair, move on to the next clump, and uh, keep on going that way. But uh, for this, this, this really works. It, uh, I, I kind of thought it was more of a gimmick than anything, but uh, my drain drains now, and uh, you, I mean, you've seen the results. It really does dissolve the hair. So thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your results are with different drain cleaners. Uh, I'm going to do another video on drain cleaner here pretty soon uh, involving uh, why you shouldn't mix different drain cleaners and why you shouldn't mix uh, different compounds with drain cleaners. All right, thank you guys for watching.